welcome to Chow Chow TV, a weekly online show featuring the city's top food personalities. Today we're here in Chicago's Fulton Market to meet with Richie Farina, the chef de cuisine of a very exciting restaurant, Moto. Chef Richie Farina, thanks so much for uh, setting out the time here to, to speak with us. Absolutely. Um, what are we going to drink here? We're having a little, a little Riesling, uh, a little sweet, a little crisp to, uh, on this kind of warmer winter day. A nice white to drink. All right, well, let's taste to that. It's really good. It's sweet as well. It is. So your name kind of precedes you, Chef. You were a season nine mm -hmm. um, Top Chef contestant, so yes. everybody knows your name for that. But before you got up to that point, what is what was your culinary background? How did you come into this world? Uh, I started back when I was 16 as a part-time pizza cook at the local mall. Uh, started making pizzas there and actually got really interested in it. It was a lot of fun. So one of my uncles uh, had a friend that had a catering business. So every once in a while, uh, on the weekends after school, I would go do a catering job here or there. Through one of those chefs, I found out about Johnson & Wales in Rhode Island. And uh, while I was there, one thing that was kind of different, instead of cooking like a lot of my friends did, I actually carved ice. So, I saw that you won, what, three years in a row the championship? Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> our, our, our team competed, the three years I competed, uh, we won first place in the, the Collegiate Nationals. So I graduated back in 2005, worked in Boston uh, for about three years, different spots, you know, a year each one to kind of learn a nurse chef and then move on to somewhere new. Moved out here to Chicago in April of 2008. Showed up at the back door with my resume saying I wanted to come work at Moto, and I haven't left since. Nice. So Moto is known for their, you know, molecular gastronomy and kind of leading the way really in Chicago for that. Mm -hmm. So how do you build out the menu here? Uh, the menu itself, it's kind of it's kind of my own spin now. I think you know, kind of taking what Omar has taught me, what Chris has taught me, different things. <laughs> So this is called the study of venison. It is. Um, and it's beautiful, Thank really. You. So could you explain kind of what are each of the little components on here for us? Yeah, so first off, it's actually set on a bed of uh, autumn leaves, a uh, harvest of them outside, it kind of you know, show the season, adds a little bit of aroma to it. So starting off, we have a venison leg tartare, a brown butter braised venison shoulder, seared venison loin, a venison leg prosciutto wrapped around some persimmon. We have a uh, venison shoulder, sausage, uh, bratwurst flavored with some whole grain mustard spetzel, the venison heart, and then the date jam with some venison jerky. So you get a kind of array, a full gamut of where venison can go. Also, these microgreens, the mustard greens, are actually harvested from our vertical garden downstairs inside the kitchen. That is so impressive, that garden. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's kind of cool to be able to go kind of farm the table in about five minutes when things are fired, we go in there, pick the few micros we need, send yeah. it to, on, on the plate and set it upstairs. The flavor profile is incredible. I thought that, you know, Microgreens are microgreen, but I didn't know until we actually grew our own how good they can actually taste. So, this looks delicious, but I'm actually really excited about the other dish we're going to talk about, which yes. is uh, Baking 101. Yeah, uh, you know, kind of being in the holiday spirit, everyone loves cookie dough. Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to kind of show, we live the childhood memories of making some cookies. All right, so let's get to it. Let's make some cookie dough. So, first off, we have to take the butter, which is, just, you know, this is a modified buttercream, made a little soft. Add in our flour, which is a snickerdoodle cookie, which has been dehydrated and turned back into some flour. Oh, wow. You mix it all together. Add your brown sugar, which is a brown sugar cake that we then dehydrate and add and then grind it back up, add to that. Then we take what looks like a raw egg. It's actually a vanilla crumb glaze with a vanilla white. So we add that into there, adds the moisture. Amazing, looks like a little quail egg. And then this version of cookie dough, we have some chocolate chip cookies. So this is actually a uh, chocolate ganache that we whip and then add just a little bit of nitro too before it goes out to the table to make sure wow. that, you know, make that chocolate chip crunch. Mix it all in. Not even the chocolate chips are regular chocolate chips. No, nope, they're not. <laughs> they're, they're, everything is made to look completely different than it normally is. Yeah, you just mix everything together. It's served with a little bit of whole milk and your straw here. So you gotta put the whole thing together. So And then cute. Uh, we encourage, you know, as you would as a kid, you just eat with a spatula. So I actually, was actually just gonna ask we that. We don't drop any silverware, you just eat it straight from there. Can I taste it? Absolutely. So good. 
That well, is really good. And this little baby spatula is adorable. Yeah, yeah it, it adds the whole idea behind it. You know, the, we're really trying to go towards a way of making every course, everything with the course, have a reason. Thank you so much for you know taking out the time today. Absolutely. It's been a, a learning experience. It has been a learning experience. <laughs> Thank you.